example. I'm saying this a lot of people will just laugh because I myself am not a Christian apologist. But atheism is suicidal for the Western civilization. I told some friends, they were like, he just said, why are you speaking like this? You're a free thinker, but <laughs> what's, what's up with this ideology? I say I'm a free thinker, yeah, but I'm not deluded. I'm not an idealist. I, I Maybe I'm a rational person to be able to see from different perspective. I say, yeah. say what do you oh. Yeah, like I, I'm really interested in hearing that. Can you please tell me, like, what made you want to, like, you know, come to that conclusion? That's interesting. Yes, yes, atheism is suicidal for the West because atheism is Christian. Okay, let me give you an example. Christianity is a is a refined version of is is it is an idea that the West invested in it. They invested their attitude. I'm talking about the Picasso, I'm talking about the Michelangelo, I'm mm -hmm. talking about all these individuals during the Renaissance period that came up with painting of fresc fresco and all this system and buildings of cathedrals. Where the Western civilization is a Judeo-Christian civilization, they invested both economically in building foundation, they invested politically, you know, and socially, they invented the system you know, you can hear about an idea, okay? But they succeeded in materializing the concept of heaven in painting of the face of Jesus Christ, for instance, and the 12 disciples. Now we have an image, we have an idea of who he looks like, at least. So they invested in all this domain. And that civilization is a very unique civilization because it places you in a superior position where you will have to proselytize other people into accepting your idea. So the moment the Western, mm -hmm. the Western civilization lost their grip on Christianity, they started dying because that idea, that enthusiasm, that philosophy that is pushing them to go beyond the border, that is pushing them to colonize other parts of the world is dead now. What, what did they replace it with? They replace it with atheism, you know? If you, if, if, I, 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 if, honestly, if you're a white person, I encourage you to be a Christian because it's their culture. Christianity is their, culture, their foundation. They made it. They employ artists to write hymns. They wrote songs. They do, everything belongs to them. The songs, the painting, the philosophy, the whole idea, the concept, everything they invented it. You know, they wrote the Bible. They work on the translation. They work on the transliteration. They work on the printing and everything. They make sure they did the subtraction, the addition, everything to present the world with this very beautiful ideology. It's just like Muslim now. If, they, they, if I'm an Arab, even though I know that Islam is wrong, even though I, I have a concept of, of, of atheism, I will still remember because it's, it's like a culture to them. You know, the Muslims yeah. took Christianity, they took Judaism, refined it, refined it to religion to form their own yeah. kind of religion that suit their culture. You see, you, you, would, you, cannot differentiate between, you cannot differentiate the difference between Arabism and Islam. The concept of Islam or the concept of Messiah and all those things is mixed with Arabism, mixed with the Arab culture. When I say Arabism, I'm talking about the culture. They are both mixed together. So this whole system, they invented it to suit their culture. They even adopt Arabic language as a standard language. They say you cannot any language, you cannot translate the Quran into it. It was just recently they started translating. So the, it's become a fabric ah. of their culture. So uh -huh. Arabs don't have any business to do with atheism or free thinking or anything. You can think rationally, but is your culture, your religion is your culture. So Europeans, Christianity, Judeo-Christian selection is their culture. They invented the system. They invested in it, both politically, economically. They invested philosophers. They invested a lot of thinkers, a lot of the Gamaliel, all these people that came up with ideas to revolutionize everything. I'm talking about the Reformation, all those things. They invested a lot, you know. So when they accepted it, then they started abandoning some of these ideas. What comes in afterward? They are replacing these ideas with what? Now, Islam is taking up in the Western world. So, because Islam has mm -hmm. the enthusiasm of proselytize, proselytization. They are going on proselytizing constantly. They are, they are very resistant. If you look at Christianity at the early age, they were very warlike. They were so, the idea of crusade and all those things was present in Christianity. Islam still has that enthusiasm till date of they, they, are not, they, don't, they are very resistant, they are very persistent about it. And Europeans became cold, the Western world 
become cold with this all this idea you know what took what took over Christianity was democracy you know human rights and all those things they are still using mm-hmm. these days even that democracy is failing right now because the west are beginning to have served up in their system they are thinking oh Mm, this system is not what they, they no longer trust their leaders for example here in france french people don't trust Macron. they don't trust angela merkel in germany they don't trust boris johnson they don't trust almost all their leaders americans are doubting donald trump everywhere you go there is self doubt in the system so the westerners are panicking that the system is, is the, the system is declining the self doubt I'm, i'm not doubting their capacity of reinventing themselves but as it is right now I don't know what will lead to that, but I think it might lead to a very huge war or some kind of cultural revolution will come up again, but as it is right now. Mm. And then, now, I spoke about feminism as something that is suicidal for them, and atheism became as it is. I don't know if you understand my point, but it's, I think it's, it's suicidal. Even though I happen to be a free thinker myself, I'm not a Christian apologist, I do not encourage any African to go into Christianity or Islam. I want them to stay as they are. I tell a lot of them. One aspect I, I told a lot of Africans about naming, for instance. You see, I say you will never see European bearing African name. Your name now, let's say, how, do, how do I pronounce your, your, your son name now? Akimemona. Okay, you will never hear any European adopting such name. Akimemona. You will never hear any European adopting such name. You never hear any German mm-hmm. in french name for instance germans they keep the identity the french keep their name the chinese keep their name if you hear of shin jinping you hear of chin kwan you know that is a person is a chinese if you hear of hakina mota you know the person is japanese you hear of naruto you know the person is japanese you know so your name carries <laughs> your, carries your identity your history and all those so you just mm-hmm. Keep that identity. The West will not do that. The Arabs either they will not. The an Arabic mouth. If you hear Muhammad, but these days if you hear Muhammad, you don't know if Muhammad is black or is white. So black Christians adopt Eurocentrism. Black Muslims adopt Arabism. We do, we, you know, we 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 appropriate this culture, this identity, this philosophy that was introduced to us. We appropriate them. We are able to picture ourselves in Christianity, picture ourselves. We are able to find a place for ourselves in all these things. I was like, atheism is wrong for the West. Just keep it, allow the people to practice Christianity because that is the basic of their fund. That is the basic the foundation of their expression. Allow it, let it be like that. Go on, promote it and keep preaching. But as for Africans, stay away. Practice your spirituality, practice whatever you want to do for them. Do away with Islam, do away with Christianity. Just remain here. So But the it's West- not serving you. Yeah. Do away with all these things are not serving him. Plus, like it, you know, like somebody posted on Facebook, like when you go to like um Indian places that gods look like them, when you go to Asia, the gods look like them, like you know, even the white people, their god is white like them with blue eyes. What about us? We're worshiping somebody else that don't even look like us, you know? Somebody that 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 it feels like kind of hates hates our kind or something that's what i feel like yes so um they, it's really interesting to hear you say i've never heard anybody touch on those points but i can understand how that is so and i can see where you're coming from because like like you said the very foundation of this country in god we trust right you know they had the whole like um family wife and uh, um, woman to get uh wife and husband together you know the whole church and god whatever they had that on lock and so everybody had the mentality okay go to school you know go to school um get married you know continue to serve god or whatever like that but that is completely changing like you're saying and so like you said they might reinvent themselves reinvent themselves because america is very resilient they won't go down without a fight America is very resilient so I'm trying probably... to think what would they do because if this what I'm about